Asia Pop 40. The Max Schneider right here. What's up, baby? How you doing? Hey, baby. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. It's always good to see you here. And uh, first off, congratulations on the new single. Absolutely love it, Butterflies. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. And I have to first say that only my favorite artists have used that word as a song title. And we're talking about Casey Musgrave. We're talking yep. about um, Mariah Carey and um, mm -hmm. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Good choices. My wife's favorite artist is Casey Musgrave. Musgrave. Oh, yeah? So the fact that you said that as the first one, major props. Let's Yo, go. we need to talk about Emily, by the way, because they're in the music video, Emily and Edie, right? Yes, indeed, man. Yeah, you did the research, baby. Yeah, they're both in it. They nailed it. They slayed. It was a whole other thing, though, to do a music video with your actual baby on set because she's like, I got to go feed her. You got to schedule this music video around the times or nap times. It was a new experience. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, Edie has been in your last couple of music videos, whether she knows it or not, to be honest. Hey, this is this is very true. This is very true. So, OK, let's talk about the music video because it's very touching. I'm pretty sure I actually cried watching it. Um, oh, you guys, thanks, you know, you, you go from your, your, your dating, your younger selves and then into your older selves and then Edie grows up and she gets married. So did you direct this one? Yeah, I mean, I had incredible help from from Andy DeLuca and, and Sarah Eisman, who both uh, did the Blueberry Eyes video with me, too. So yeah. it was a really incredible energy. And, and I've utilized the same um, DP and the, the whole team has been the same for pretty much the entirety of Color Vision, like Love Me Less, all the songs. So it was amazing to connect them all with, with really great collaborators. And, and, you know, I'm so glad that um, all the visual productions have something to do with color visions, right? Like you, if you watch the music video, you can see that it is very colorful and you mm -hmm. guys do tend to appear color coordinated in the MVs. Do you guys do that in real life? Do you dress up like family <laughs> color thing days? Um, no, not really. Not, <laughs> maybe sometimes if it, if it happens to happen, but uh, not, not as often as I feel like people expect us to. But sometimes <laughs> I get a lot of like matching tattoos with my wife and sometimes okay. we get like the same painted nails. You know, we, we, keep, it, we keep it grossly cute in those ways from time wait, to time. Wait, can, but, I, can I ask which matching tattoos? Ooh, I have one on my finger. It says urge. It was it was the first thing we said to each other before we said I love you. It was like way too early. Literally the first month of us dating. I think we both knew that this was it, but it felt crazy to say that. Uh -huh. So we just kept saying we had like urge was our word. So we still now it's our word if it's if if we want to say something that's like a grandiose I love you. you we just say the urge or you know, so we just we both have it on our fingers. So we just like put it on, put each other's fingers to each other. You know, that's cute. Oh, we have man. our own stupid yeah, That cute is things. very cute. Yo, so um, I wonder because you are obviously a a romantic, right? Judging from oh, yeah the lyrics you write, <laughs> uh, the music video. Will we ever get to hear your vowels in length in, in musical form? My my vows in musical form. Ooh. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, Butterflies is kind of that, but I feel like it isn't quite the exact version like you're saying. So I feel like maybe that's maybe that's a song on the next album. I feel okay. like I got to write the real vows. Maybe that's this might be the moment I realized that. So, yeah, here we go. Let's yeah. see what happens next. Yeah. yeah. And, and of course, this time you work with uh, one of my favorite Canadian artists, uh, Ali Gady. Um, there's a line where he jumps in in a music video and he sings, um, I still remember uh, the first time I saw your eyes. It reminds me of uh, the first time I saw you smile. Something along those lines, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are those his words or did you write them and he sang it? Those are his words. You know, oh. I, I sent him, I had my own second verse and then I sent him the song and he was very inspired to write what you hear, which is his story, which for me is important. Whenever I collaborate with an artist, I want it to be their voice, their their lyrics, their language. I feel like it's so much more special when they get to actually, you know, express themselves in their own way. Yeah. So that was cool to have him at his story. And, and when he sang that line in a music video, uh, was supposed to flashing onto the screen. It was the first time he saw what Edie's character would be when she grows up, right? That's right, so, baby. So <laughs> him being a romantic as well. Now, do you, as a father, imagine Edie growing up and meeting someone like him or like you, like you know, like a hopeless romantic to the max? That's what I'm hoping, you know. That's why I was <laughs> cool that people kept asking about, you know, seeing Ali being that that person to her. And I would be honored if, if if it were someone like him that were with her or, you know, whoever it is. I want her to love whoever she's meant to love. So as long as they love her with everything they got, 
I'm going to be a supportive dad and I'm, I'm excited to, to see that. I'm sure it'll break my heart in one way that she's not my little girl anymore when that does happen. But as long as she's with someone who cares about her and worships her and treats her right, I will be very grateful. Yeah, man. The last time we talked was, I think, just weeks after you guys gave birth to Edie. And right. so you were talking about how you were excited about putting together outfits for Edie and that um, <laughs> she's always pooping a lot. Is she still pooping a lot of rainbow? She's pooping every chance she gets, she's pooping. It's pretty amazing. I feel like it's a new thing in my life to see. I'm like, wow, that was a crazy one, Edie. Good job, you know? <laughs> I didn't think I would be so excited about that stuff, but like she lets out a big burp. I'm like, damn, girl, well done. That was a good one, you know? Oh, it's so good to see you um, and your family. You have a beautiful family and you Thank do you, let your fans into your lives and uh, we really appreciate that. Um, so I have a question about the music video again because I keep on seeing this blue gemstone ring, which was in Ooh. Blueberry Eyes. You gave it to yeah, Emily in a tub and then it appeared again. Is that your wedding ring? It isn't, but it was, we wanted to symbolize it in the video. That's so cool you saw that. It makes yeah. me so happy. Those little <laughs> details, we can't, We just throw them in. We just hope someone sees it. It's like, it's so exciting when someone does. So I'm so stoked you did. Yeah. Uh, but no, we got it for just the Blueberry Eyes video. But when we did Butterflies, we just, of course, we wanted to make sure that that continuity was there and hopefully people picked up on it. So hell oh yeah. Oh my God. My wife does have um, her engagement ring was uh, the my grandma's stone, her diamond from her engagement ring. And then we so we wanted to symbolize that. But I felt like the blue was like blueberry eyes. I just wanted it to be its own thing. So, yeah. Anyway, long, long story short. No, I love, long it. Story I love it. I love that there is continuity and it seems like this will continue throughout the whole entire Color Vision project. Eh? Always, baby. We love the continuity, and we love. It makes nothing. I get so giddy when when someone like you says that because I'm like, yes, someone <laughs> noticed. That's so fire. So keep <laughs> noticing that stuff. It makes it makes artists so happy when people notice. So yeah, man. Trust me, the fans will always love that kind of stuff, and will always pick it up. And, and speaking of fans, I heard that you recently sang at one of your fans' weddings. Oh yeah, dude, I did. It was so wild to do that. It was just really cool to see her. She was, you know, when she started being my fan, she was like a teenager and now she's, you know, an adult living with her now husband. It was amazing to see people grow with, with the music and how much it meant to her was really cool. So I was, I was grateful to get to show up and make that day special. Teenager and now she's married. Have, has Max Schneider been around for that long? <laughs> I'm, yeah, I mean, I don't want to admit it, but I've been, I've been doing it for a bit, baby. Trying yeah, to get yeah. that good skincare, you know, <laughs> living that life. Yeah, you do take care of yourself very well. I actually saw Thanks, man. a couple of motto shoots that you did like way back. And I'm like, whoa, man, this guy hasn't changed a bit. Hey, let's keep, <laughs> keep doing it. I'll stay here for 30 minutes. Let's go. Let's go out there. And, and wait, was it 2012 was Rags, right? When you did Rags, that, yes. You haven't changed a bit since that project, man. Oh, man. Well, thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. I'm going to keep that skincare routine going just because you said it. I'm, I'm grateful. Yeah, that Rags, I feel like that's, that's something that will never... I feel like people will be talking about rags with me till I'm like 85. They'll be cool. <laughs> I feel like I can't, I, I don't mind not escaping it. I just think it's really cool that, I mean, it is really cool, but everyone's like rags. I'm like, damn, yo, that was like 10 years ago. That's so ago, cool, you yeah. still remember that. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, but you've moved on to something else, uh, something that I would say is more concurrent with the time. You recently performed at The Bachelorette and I heard, uh, do you actually watch it? Yo, know, hardcore I watch. Do it. you? I'm such a big fan. You're I such a sap. Never man. watched. <laughs> I am such a sap. Hardcore. I mean, what happened? Here's what happened. I started watching it because I'd never seen reality TV. And then over the pandemic, the first week when my wife got pregnant, it wasn't like we could like go on adventures or hang out with people. Right. And I watched that show Love is Blind. I don't know if that got big where you guys are at, but that yeah, one, yeah. that one was like the, the start of the addiction. And then it was only one season. So I was like, where do I get more of this? <laughs> so I just looked up the best seasons of The Bachelor and I just went from there, like the top 10 seasons. And then it got bad. I just started going in a deep downward spiral of watching so many seasons. Oh no. So I had to manifest the performance because I was like, I have to justify this addiction. So it was amazing to, get to perform <laughs> on the show. And with this song, of course, it was so special to do this one. So it was, uh, it's so, I just try to justify all my addictions by manifesting them. You know, if I'm a big fan of someone, I like, I got to do a song with them. I've listened to too much of their music to not 
if I watch The Bachelor reality TV, I gotta perform on it. So that's my new motto. No, man, it makes sense. But you know what's funny? For <laughs> a lot of times for artists, it would be the other way around, right? Like it'd be like, if, if you take on a project and you start watching this thing and then learn about it, do your homework, so to say. But for you, it was completely the other way around. You got hooked on it first, then you wanted to jump on a project with it. 100%. I feel like that, truly for me, that's most of it. Like, I got addicted to that video game League of Legends. For, yeah. I'm talking like, I'm talking like eight years I was mm -hmm. in that game. Mm -hmm. So finally, I just hit up the people at Riot and I just said, can I be on the next, <laughs> like, League of Legends main final song? And I did, which was so cool. But yeah, it's just, that's just my vibe. I'm like, I'm definitely, if, I, if I'm if i hooked, if I'm in, I want to, you know, I want to do things I'm a fan of. Life's too short if if it's that. Uh, because it means so much more when you're a fan of it. Yeah. If you're not a fan of it, that's cool. It's it's cool, but it's like so much more fun when you are. Wait, but does it mean that, say, if LOL ever did an online concert, would Max be willing to join on an online stage? Oh, hell yeah, baby. I'm down. I'm in. Heimerdinger forever, baby. I, that's I, my I, one. <laughs> that's my only character. Everybody. <laughs> I poops on me for it, I'll say, because we're on the radio. But yeah, it's my, that's my guy. That's all I play. Because I used to play with people who were really good. So I was like, oh, I gotta hold my own. I can't suck. I can't like, you know, tank the team. So it was, yeah. uh, it was, it was amazing. I haven't played in a long time, but I, I miss it. I might have to do that too. You You're giving it. me a lot of inspiration after this interview to good. do the things that I've been, <laughs> I'm missing out on. Uh, so if we see a shortage of music from Max in the next, I don't know, couple of months, uh, it's going to be my fault because this guy's going to yep. be just binge playing League of Legends. It's just me like League of Legends and changing diapers. That's going to be my <laughs> life for, if that's what's going down. Are you okay with sharing your gamer tag uh, so that people can challenge you? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> not, it's been that long. If I, I 100% would be okay with it, but yeah, I don't know what it is. Um, so yeah. um, next question, what is next for Max and maybe the Schneider family? Yeah, man, uh, I'm working on the next album. I'm so excited. It's already I'm deep eh? in it. Okay. Oh yeah, come on, I'm so deep in it. But I feel like I got a lot, lot, lot more to go, but it is exciting to make music again. And I get to do my first shows next week here in the States, which is exciting. Yeah. Lollapalooza, and I can't wait to get to do more shows internationally because I just miss it. There's so many incredible fans. So that's pretty much what's next to me. Make a new album, be a good dad, be a nice husband, and play shows. That's, that's life. And maybe maybe get addicted to something else and perform on that. Good, nice, nice. Okay, so we got uh, new music coming up. Uh, most likely more music videos from Color Vision as well, right? Yes. Oh, and also a song. I just recorded a song. I won't say what it is, but it's okay. from two amazing artists. Okay. And I learned Mandarin for it. So I sang what? Mandarin. I learned it in 24 hours. So I hope it's pretty good. I had a really good coach, but I learned the Mandarin in 24 hours. I sang it. And that song is coming out pretty soon, and I hope people like it. It was really, it was really fun challenge to go for it. So you, yeah, okay, that's you, coming super soon. Do you remember any line, any Mandarin line from that song? Can you say uh, it to us? Yeah, let me see what I. I'm not gonna butcher. Let me yeah, think. say one uh, that doesn't, you know, won't give anything away. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get a full line in. That I'm gonna. No, no, a don't, lot don't. I'm not gonna get a full line in. I don't want to butcher it, but I did learn it on the spot for it, and now I'm gonna have to rehearse it so I can do it live for interviews like this. Oh my god! But gosh. that was just like a. That was like a. Wait a sec! I did this. I should tell you about it. So next time I I am with you, I'm gonna have done that song so many times. I promise Please. I'm gonna nail the Mandarin on these interviews. I can't wait, Max. Okay, until <laughs> then, of course we could listen to more music from him. Uh, check out more music videos from Max. We're gonna enjoy all the music that you come up with and uh, please tell Ali Gady that we said hi. Uh, and uh, Max, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I'll see you uh, in person hopefully sometime soon when it's safe. Hopefully next soon. time, we've done, this, we've done this twice, next time in person, I hope. Yeah, we're basically, uh, you know, besties now. <laughs> we're besties, baby. Let's go. What's up, baby? It's Max here and this is Asia Pop 40. A A Asia Pop 40. <laughs>